In one of the earlier lessons, I introduced you to Retrieval Augmented Generation or RAG. In this lesson, we'll dive deeper into the realization of a basic RAG pipeline. And I'll also introduce you to the conversational and advanced RAG pipelines. You will also see a simple RAG pipeline in action. The purpose of the Retrieval Augmented Generation or RAG technique is to ground an LLM by allowing it to access and use information from a reliable external source before generating a response. This helps in addressing some of the common LLM challenges. These are the six common challenges that you learned about in an earlier lesson. RAG addresses the first three challenges. Chances of hallucinations is reduced as the LLM uses the contextual knowledge to generate a response rather than making up a factually incorrect response. Dated knowledge problem is addressed as the context may contain the latest and the greatest information that LLM can use in conjunction with its parametric knowledge. Imprecise response issue is addressed as the LLM doesn't rely just on its parametric knowledge, rather it uses the facts presented to it in the prompt. Let's check out how a basic RAG flow works. In a basic retrieval augmented generation or RAG pattern, user input is passed to the retrieval system to get the context. Examples of retrieval system are vector stores, databases, and other sources of contextual information that is needed for generating a response for the given input. The prompt, which consists of the user input, is augmented with this retrieved context, and then it is sent to the LLM. The LLM then uses the context to generate a response. This entire mechanism is built on the ability of the LLMs to acquire knowledge from the prompt itself. Recall that this ability of the LLM to learn from the context within the prompt is referred to as in-context learning. This knowledge acquired by the LLM is temporary in nature. In other words, it does not change the state of the parametric knowledge in the LLM. Next, I'll walk you through the code for basic RAG pipeline implementation. The notebook I'm using in this video is available in the folder named RAG. We will use the Wikipedia retriever for getting information on a given topic. And this retrieved information will then be used as context for invoking an LLM multiple times with questions or tasks related to the topic. I've already opened the notebook. As always, the first step is to set up the LLM. If you are following along, don't forget that you need to change the path to your API key files. I'm using the Mistral AI 7B instruct model, creating the model endpoint, and then setting up the retriever. To set up the retriever, I've created a utility function called getContext that takes topic as a parameter. Using the Wikipedia retriever, I'm getting the documents for the given topic and then simply concatenating the received document page content to a single string. Returning the string as context, setting up the prompt here, the prompt is, you are a smart agent who uses only the provided information to carry out the given task. Then I have the input task and the input context. And now we are ready to test. So the topic I'm setting is LLM chain of thought, getting the context here. And now we are ready to carry out the test. In the first test, I'm setting up the task as what is chain of thought technique and invoking the LLM with the task and the context. Let's go ahead and run it. And here is the result. It explains the chain of thought technique. Here is a second test. Give me a specific example of chain of thought technique. 
So here again, like the first task, the LLM will use the provided context to generate a response. Now I'm not going to go through the response here, but I suggest that you try out this code on your own with different topics and different tasks to understand the working of a RAG pipeline. This naive or basic implementation of RAG is suitable for a single turn conversation or one off task, but it needs to be enhanced for building multi turn conversation bots. Can you guess which component is missing here for building a RAG based conversation bot? If you said memory or conversation history, then you are right. Conversational RAG requires an additional component to manage the conversation history, which may be thought of as the memory for RAG implementation. Let's go over the flow. Chatbot receives an input. This input is then sent to the retrieval system the retrieval system such as vector store then returns appropriate contextual information. Prompt is then created with the retrieved context, conversation history and the received input. This prompt is then sent to the LLM. The response received from the LLM and the input is then added to the conversation history. The final response is then sent to the caller. The effectiveness of a RAG system heavily depends on the quality of the context it retrieves. If the context is irrelevant or lack necessary information, the response generated by the LLM will likely be suboptimal. Therefore, it is crucial for the designer of a RAG based application to carefully optimize the retrieval performance by applying appropriate retrieval optimization techniques. At a high level, these techniques fall under two categories. Pre-processing involves transformation of the queries to the retrieval system and post-processing techniques involve constructing an optimal context from the retrieved information. This kind of a RAG implementation is sometimes referred to as advanced RAG. I'll be covering multiple pre and post processing techniques starting with next lesson. In this lesson, I introduced you to the basic conversational and advanced RAG. Retrieval augmented generation or RAG technique grounds the LLMs to facts. RAG helps with reducing the chances of hallucination. It addresses the knowledge cutoff challenge and it makes the LLM use the temporary knowledge in the prompt and that in turn prevents the LLM from generating imprecise responses. Effectiveness of a RAG application heavily depends on the quality of the context passed to the LLM. Starting with next lesson, you will learn multiple techniques that can enhance the performance of an LLM. Now before proceeding, I suggest that you go through the code that I shared in this lesson. Feel free to experiment with it. Happy learning and I'll see you in the next video.